Iran's first missile test after the 12-day war with Israel was conducted. A missile test with a specific purpose and a clear message. On the July 22nd, media outlets close to Iran's military institutions reported the occurrence of a so-called space test, a test that immediately drew attention. As this unusual launch marked Iran's first public missile and space-related activity following the conclusion of the 12-day conflict with Israel. According to published reports, this launch was not a full space mission, but a suborbital test aimed at assessing the performance of new technologies in Iran's space industry. Notably, the test was carried out by the Aerospace Force of the Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps, IRGC, a force that, unlike the Iranian Space Agency which operates in the scientific and research domain, has entered the space field with entirely military objectives. But what happened during this launch? And why is it important? The Qased, messenger satellite carrier, is recognized as Iran's first space launcher with a hybrid propulsion system. Its origins date back to 2020, and it has been used for several years as a test platform for new technologies, including the launch of Noor satellites. This satellite carrier has three stages. The first stage uses liquid fuel, while the second and third stages use solid fuel. At the same time, Qased was only a temporary platform, and immediately afterward, the advanced Qayyam 100 satellite carrier entered the field, which surpassed it in all specifications, followed by the anticipated Qayyam 105. Since Qased was nearing retirement and was originally based on ballistic missiles, its sudden launch was significant not only as a satellite carrier, but also as a covert ballistic missile. In short, Qasid can be considered the convergence of long-range missile and space technology. Mathematical estimates suggest that Qasid, in the role of a ballistic missile, likely has a range of more than 2,500 kilometers. In the Qasid satellite carrier, the first stage provides initial thrust and power. This part is the rocket section with a liquid fuel engine, which is very effective for lifting the launcher off the ground and uses a motor similar to Gadar and Amod meaning it does not feature new technology. However, the second and third stages are solid fuel carbon fiber space motors. These engines are important not only for space missions and satellite injection, but also for the military sector in relation to maneuverable warheads and bypassing anti-ballistic systems. It appears that in Iran's recent test, the focus was on guidance and recovery systems, as this launch was conducted in a suborbital manner. In these types of missions, the launcher ascends to a specific altitude but does not enter Earth's orbit. The objective is only to collect performance data from various systems under near-real conditions, without necessarily reaching orbit. What doubles the importance of this test is not just the sensitive time frame after the war, but the nature of the technologies put to the test. Simply put, the missile ascended to an altitude below 200 kilometers and returned, while Qasid is capable of peaking at 430 kilometers. So it can be said that Iran is evaluating the capability of various missile components for precise guidance during flight, and also for returning some of its parts to Earth without serious damage, to utilize this data for improving the performance of new technologies. Although the official title of the test was the evaluation of new technologies, previous evidence and patterns suggest that the scope of these technologies is broader than publicly stated. Among the possible goals of this test, three can be mentioned. Testing precision-guided missile systems for in-flight trajectory correction. Improving hybrid missile propulsions to achieve longer range and higher accuracy. Or testing a new generation of missile subsystems for greater stability in space. The important point about this test is its timing. Just a few days after the heavy clashes between Iran and Israel. Clashes that, according to Western sources, targeted some of Iran's key space and missile infrastructure. Conducting a space test under such conditions may carry a clear message. Beyond the psychological and political message, such a test also demonstrates Iran's level of operational readiness to restore damaged infrastructure and continue its development path. Some analysts even believe this launch was a technical and strategic response to recent Israeli attacks. A response not with missiles and drones, but with scientific and technological advancement. 
Therefore, the recent Cosshead satellite carrier test was a smart technical move and a powerful strategic message. At a time when many believe the recent attacks on Iran's space facilities might halt its development trajectory, this test showed that Iran's industrial and scientific infrastructure, especially in the military domain, remains active, resilient, and progressing. And that perhaps Iran is reconsidering its missile range policy.